All right. I've already got started here because I wasn't planning on making a video of this, being that it was going to be my kind of my first one in my new shop. But I'm going to make a cutting board, and I took a an oak four x four piece of skid material. Yeah, let me just do it this way. And I ripped it all down on the table saw to just a little over three quarters of an inch. That way it'll give me a little sanding. I don't have a planer, so I'm gonna to have to do some sanding. And then I and then I cross cut all those on my sled to about 16 inches. And that's where we're at now. So uh, I'll probably have other videos and I'll do a complete video of making one. We'll see how, how they turn out. But for now, here's where we're going right here. Here's where we're at. So I'll go ahead and we'll do a little sanding. I'm just going to sand two sides for glue. Got them to my satisfaction, and I've arranged them in the way the way I want to glue them. So I'll have four sets here glued up, about like that. And I'm limited on my planting right now. Right now, I only have these three clans. So. Never get prepared before you start a project, either. I mean, wouldn't want nothing like that. Self confused here. Alright, now that these have set for a few minutes, I'm not going to just completely take them out. I'm going to go ahead and glue these other ones up and just add them in with it and then keep them all clamped for, up for a while until tomorrow actually. Alright, I kind of put my little project here on the back burner because I wasn't sure how I was going to proceed without a planer because you can see these aren't by no means flat enough to, to do any more gluing but I think I've come up with a, an idea that may work I don't know we're going to try here been working on this. It's light on. It's my radio arm saw I got and uh, I had a big recall and the recall included the, the new blade guard and table. So uh, I'll have a video of upgrading that. But in the meantime, I think we'll uh, see what I can do here.
I think if I cross cut these, uh, to about an inch, then I can come back and run them through the table saw and smooth all the edges out. So, uh, I think we'll try that. So, here we go. Alright, now that I've got all these cut into strips like this, I want to run them through the table saw and smooth up the edge that way since I don't have a planer to do it with. I want to see how that works. There, seven eighths of an inch. Now that I got them all cut down on one side, I want to move my uh, saw in a little closer and go down the other side. I think I'll try three quarter now. And we'll get them good and square. So here we go. Okay. carefully selected how I want to put these together uh, with a lot of color and imperfection up so that it's noticeable it looks good I'm gonna make two small cutting boards out of what I have here so we'll just go ahead and glue this one up
trust that cardboard under there to make everything level and not twisted so I want to remove that probably have to Cut it big enough, I can slip it under there once I get it. Try to get one edge of these really lined up and square so that I can run that edge across the table saw. coat uh, all of this really good all the way to the edges that way the glue acts as a sealer to keep anything from soaking down into the joints of the wood
we'll just let that dry. Alright, Dominic and I are going to go ahead <laughs> and glue up my second board here. I got the first one almost glued up, all but my edge pieces. And I got the other one in the clamp there, ready to go. And I think Dominic's excited to help a little bit. So, uh, while I glue this up, maybe Dominic can learn a little, huh? Gonna help pop all a little bit. Never can have too much shop help, can you? Gotta have plenty of help. Yeah, plenty of help. Papa has plenty of help, that's for sure. Yeah, we got plenty of help, don't we? Stick them together, big kid. You ready? We're sticking them together. there. I think it'll work. This is the first board. I'm going to run it through the table saw and square it up real good. And then run it through the sander real good. And uh then I'm going to put this edge border around it like that and then I'll put some uh, we'll put some of this on there aren't we yeah some butcher block sealer we'll put some of this on there You want to help Papa put some of that on there? Yeah, you can have a block. Oh, right in the mouth. Yeah, I got this uh, Watco butcher block, oil, fin oil and finish. It's good for bowl making and cutting boards and butcher blocks. And it's food safe, of course. So we don't hurt no youngins. You probably won't eat much onions and peppers yet though, will you? Yep. Oh my goodness. All right, we got that, both of those glued together. Uh, as soon as uh, I get another chance, I'll get back in here and run these through the table saw.
All right, now that I've got my borders glued on, which really don't look like a border, it's just, but it is. But now I'm sanding and then I'll route the edges. Now we're gonna do a little rounding of the edges. Hoping this uh, butcher block sealer is going to make this wood pop and bring out some color and stuff. In it. 